It's a real pleasure to be here at PBL. Over the next 15 years, $90 trillion will be invested in three key economic systems, in energy, in land use, and in cities. Whether those investments go into high carbon or low carbon will determine whether or not we will meet our two-degree target. The answer to that question lies with how financial institutions choose to invest over the next 15 years, what types of projects they choose to support. So they play a crucial role. Um, what we found is that the general view is that if you want to invest in low carbon infrastructure, it's going to cost a lot more. Why banks, why financial institutions don't do this is because, hey, it's just too expensive. We have to invent new sort of business models and investment models to really uh, f finance the transition to a carbon neutral economy. And perhaps this will include that investment organizations will have to take a return of investment in a longer period of time. So if, if that's possible, then as we saw in the presentation, a lot of opportunities will open up. Everybody was really looking for opportunities and that's good. And uh, that's in line with uh, what we discovered at the ASN Bank. What's needed for the financial sector to take responsibility in financing the green transition is data, stories, projects and possibilities. There continues to be a view that one has to make a choice between promoting growth, creating jobs on one hand, and actually taking action on climate, promoting sustainability on the other. And the central thesis of what my presentation is about is that that is a false choice that one can often find uh, climate actions, actions that promote sustainability, that are also in the economic self-interest of countries, of companies, of societies.